Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates, where today I'm going to show you how to make steak fajitas in the crock pot. We're going to lock in some delicious flavors. I'm going to show you how we do that before it even goes into the crock pot. You guys ready? What I like to do before I put any kind of steak or roast into the crock pot is I like to get it nice and browned up first. It locks in some delicious flavor and also it puts a little crispness on the ends of the steaks here. So what I have is two and a quarter pounds of flank steak and I've got some taco seasoning. Now this is my homemade blend of taco seasoning. I will link it down below in the description box if you want to make your own homemade blend or you can find it on my website catherinesplates.com and just look up taco seasoning and you can adjust to what you like or don't like in taco seasoning plus it doesn't have any of those preservatives or additives in this i got two tablespoons of taco seasoning here now you can use one package of taco seasoning that you get from your store just pull out two tablespoons. We're going to save that other tablespoon for later. I'm just going to take some and sprinkle it over the meat. We're going to do the front and the back. All right, let's go ahead and turn this over. Yeah, you know flank steak is really tough meat to cook. So cooking it in the crock pot is a good way to do it low and slow. Let's go ahead and get the back side here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner onto a medium high heat. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil to a large skillet and start heating that up. We want it nice and hot. I'm going to be doing these in batches. So I'll do the first one and then I'll do the second one because I have two of them here. This is an optional step, but like I said, we're going to lock in some delicious flavors in here. You want to hear that sizzle when you put your meat in, so make sure you give it some time to heat up really good. A little bit more seasoning right here. The meat kind of folded over on me there. All right, just a few minutes. All we want to do is just really brown the meat. It smells delicious. Yeah, that's what you're looking for right there. All right, another few minutes. We'll pull this one out and then we'll add in the other one. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm going to place it on a cutting board. And then I'm going to add in the other one. So you want to find the grain of your meat. Now it's going this way, so we want to cut against the grain. I'm going to cut it in big slices like you would want to see in a fajita taco. I'm telling you what, I'm fixing to wake up everybody in the house and they're going to be disappointed again. <laughs> Every time you start a crock pot in the morning, they come down here and it's not going to be ready until later in the day. All right, now that I got it like that, I'm going to cut it in half. All right, now what we can do is go ahead and place this in the crock pot and then we'll cut the other steak. Y'all, it looks so good, nice and seared. Look at all that flavor. You're not gonna get that if you don't sear your meat. All 
right, let's add it to the other batch in the crock pot. Okay, I am not going to let all that flavor go to waste for sure. Now, I've got four colored peppers here in every color and a huge, large onion. What I'm going to do is get this going. I'm going to turn it on, back on, to a medium-high heat. Got the oil in there. I'm going to take my peppers. And I'm going to cut them in pretty big slices because they're going to be in the crock pot for a while. We don't want to lose them or have them melt in to everything. So big slices. And I'm just going to let them sit in the pot here, just softening up just a little bit, just enough to absorb all those flavors in there. If you need more oil, you can put that in there. This will give the peppers a nice char to them, lock in some flavor from the steak. Here we go. I'm just going to chop up my onion, the big pieces, and all that skin off of there, and the peel. Oh yeah, this will add a nice char color to your peppers, like they've been grilled. Doesn't that look good in there? All right, I'm going to move my crock pot back over. I'm going to turn off the burner. And then I'm going to put all the peppers and onions on top of the meat. Oh, all the flavors locked in to everything. You know that's how I like to cook. All right, I'm going to take that last tablespoon of taco seasoning and sprinkle it over the top. Okay, what I'm going to do now is add half a cup of chicken broth. You can use any kind of broth that you want. The chicken broth is just a lighter flavor. You can do a beef broth if you want a heavier flavor. Just half a cup to kind of get everything going. And then we're going to add one cup of salsa. All right, we're going to stir this all together. All right, it looks really colorful in there, doesn't it? All right, we're going to place a lid on now. We're going to set this on low for six to eight hours or on high for four to five hours if you want it quicker. I'm going to be back. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Yes, Thomas is in the kitchen. <laughs> he could not wait any longer for these steak fajitas. Mm -hmm. He's got some uh, grilled tortillas here that he just threw on the burner and grilled yep. up. And then I'm going to show you his toppings, and then we're going to build this up. Okay, there's the fajitas and the peppers and onions with that delicious kind of a sauce that it made. Not that you need that, but you can put that over some rice and it would be really good. You put this whole thing. All right, there's his tortillas. We have some crumbled ranchero queso fresco cheese cilantro, jalapeno slices, and sour cream. Now I'm going to put his plate together and show you what it looks like and then he's going to give it a try for you and see how tender we made that flank steak. Okay, that is the way my husband loves his fajitas. All right, he's going to take a bite for you. Mm. That's good. Is it good? Oh my God. 
How tender is it? It melts in your mouth. Very flavorful. Oh yeah, you can taste all the onions, peppers, spices. Mm. Okay, y'all. I think we have a winner. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely. All right, y'all let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below what you think. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when our shows are posted, like this one here. All right, we'll see you on the next episode. Uh, like butter. Like butter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's plenty of jalapenos on those. Mm -hmm. Those are all his. <laughs>